in today's episode of Food My Life is going to be extra special because I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my favourite cake to make which is the strawberry shortcake and I actually learned this from my chef, wow. my head chef at Buffet Boutique Cafe when I was there as a pastry chef assistant. If you guys are up for the challenge and you want to try out the full recipe, please watch till the end of the video and I guarantee you it's really worth it. So let's get started! Once you're done with mixing, you gotta put it over a double boiler and to just warm it up until it's warm to the touch. So this cake base is actually called the Janos and uh, it might look easy at first but after that it's gonna get really complicated. So please read our description at the bottom of this video for the full recipe and all the complicated steps. Once it's done, you just remove it from the mixer. The mixture should be really, really fluffy. Like this. Over here, I have a butter, vanilla and milk mixture which I melted before this. So what you're going to do is to take a spatula and scoop out a few spoons of it. This is because um, this mixture is really fluffy and then the butter is kind of like liquidy and dense so usually you don't mix like two different consistencies at the same time like straight away so after it's well mixed just pour this into the mixture earlier very gently fold it in because if you stir it's like but you fold it so that you can still retain the bubbles that you so painstakingly mixed it for like one hour for Now repeat this for the other side and then once you're done with trimming both, just stack this on top of the other one and then just cut to the size of the shortcake that you want to make. Over here I have the whipping cream, mascarpone and sugar mixture which you can find all the details in our description below. And then I'm just going to slowly beat it at low speed and while waiting for the cream to thicken up, I'm going to be cutting the strawberries for the shortcake. So once the cream is done beating, you can just remove it from the mixer. Now prepare everything that you'll need, which is the janos which you already trimmed and cut to the perfect size that you want it to be, the cut strawberries, your Kirsch syrup which your recipe can be found in the description box below, your weighing scale, your whipping cream, your pellet knives, two pellet knives, and you can start with assembly now. First, you're going to take one of the janos base and then place it on top of your weighing scale. Zero. Next, you'll take your mixing bowl, put it on top of your weighing scale again. This is so that you get like even uh, cream on each layer. So over here, I'm just using about 120 grams of Chantilly cream. Okay. Then I'm going to mix it until it's quite thick. Because this will be the first layer of cream and you want it to hold the strawberries in place, you don't want it to like be running around. Okay. Then just gently put the cream down.
So once you're happy with how it looks like, you can take your next piece of genos. Now we're going to put it on top of the wings here again and then put another layer of syrup. So what the syrup does is it enhances the flavour of the genos, the cake base. And also um, it makes it like more moist and fluffy so it tastes really really good. Another 70 grams. For the last layer of cream, it doesn't have to be as thick as the previous two layers, so uh, be careful when you beat it, don't overbeat it. So for the last part, you're going to hold your palette knife like this, and we're just going to draw like... Um, zigzag lines across the cake. So once you're done with cleaning up the sides of your cake, you can just put it into the chiller for about at least two hours before you begin cutting it. I know it's very tempting to cut now because it looks like it's very uneven and everything, but trust me, once you cut it, everything will look so much better. Once your cake has been chilled for two hours or more, you can now prepare your cake knife. So first step is to cut down as straight as possible, get a 90 degrees. And then just use light sawing action. Don't ever press down on your cake. Now for the last step, you're just going to touch up the cake, which I've already beaten the cream to slightly stiff. to move along with decorating. So we've come to the end of the episode and thank you guys so much for staying with me throughout the entire long episode of me making a strawberry shortcake from scratch all the way to the final product. If you guys are lazy to do this whole tutorial thing on your own at home, you can just feel free to come down to Buffet Boutique Cafe and have your strawberry shortcake at only just $8. If you guys want to watch more food related videos like this, remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!